On a warm summer's evening On a train bound for nowhere I met up with a gambler We were both too tired to sleep So we took turns of staring Out the window at the darkness The boredom overtook us And he began to speak He said, son, I've made a life Out of reading people's faces And knowing what the cards were By the way they held their eyes So if you don't mind my saying I can see you're out of aces For a taste of your whiskey I'll give you some advice So I handed him my bottle And he drank down my last swallow Then he bombed a cigarette And asked me for a light And the night got deathly quiet And his face lost all expression Said if you're gonna play the game, boy You gotta learn to play it right You got to know when to hold them Know when to fold them Know when to walk away Know when to run You never count your money When you're sitting at the table Time enough to count them When the deal is done Hello and welcome to Providence Community Radio's Submodern Music Hour on 101.1 WVVX. This is your host, Jay Party, and we have a little, uh, you know, life's a game. Life's a gamble. And, you know, we thought about that, and, and then we thought, hey, why don't we have a show called Record Roulette? And we're going to let landline explain the rules of record roulette to you right now so th- this is how record roulette works um basically there's a, ho- a pot of records and at random one is selected pulled out we will then see this record for the first time not knowing what it is and decide which song from it to play and then we'll play that song <laughs> and uh yeah, and you, as the listener, will enjoy it, and we will or enjoy not. playing it for you, or not. Yeah, that could you be know, a possibility. This too. is the gamble of it. It's like we all brought some records, as usual. You sometimes know. you win, uh, sometimes you lose. <laughs> hey, you know, just how it is. Hey, whose voice is that over there? Oh, yes, I didn't introduce myself. <laughs> People are like, who is that guy? <laughs> Butting into the conversation. This is. T-bone. 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 <laughs> thank, thank you for the backup, guys. I appreciate that. So, Jay Party, that's me, uh, Landline, and T-Bone, and Gelman, all oh, hey, Gelman. contributed to this pot. And uh, there's there may be some winners and maybe some losers. There's oh, right, yeah. I forgot to describe. Uh, there, there are two wild cards uh, placed in the deck, if you will. Mm-hmm. and uh, We don't know what they are. We don't know what they mm-hmm. are. We've never seen them before. And uh, so, uh, you know... we. We might draw a bad number, and uh, we'll have to just do it with it what we will. And uh, I'm excited. We're gonna spin the wheel now. I'm so excited! Oh, yeah. All right, All right spin let's the go. Wheel. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh! oh wow. okay. <laughs> so. All right. Well, let me just tell you that the the first record that was drawn was. Uh, Give it one to of, straight, Doctor. I can take it. One of mine from home. This is No Jacket Required by Phil Collins. And, uh, okay, so this has a lot of hits on it. Everybody's going to say you got to play Susudio. Probably. But then there's also One More Night. Ooh. And uh, Don't Lose My Number. I mean, this is full of that hits. One. That one's and then there's my game. favorite track, which is Inside Out. Um, Can I see that? For yeah, second, we're all mind? gonna we're we're all gonna pass it around and, and pick the track that we think uh, is the best. Light and it's Play a casino, that so the light's not so good. So I'm just trying to see. Here, yeah. I got a flashlight uh, on my iPhone here. Out, doesn't <laughs> anybody? Well, it? Yeah. Yeah. One more night. I'm just okay. a caveman. What's your pick? Oh, landline. <laughs> what right. do you think? Um, I don't like this song, but um, <laughs> but 
But it reminds me of my childhood so much that one more night yeah, was just always on the yeah. radio. Just same internally. We're and I haven't heard it for a long time. Yeah. So just for nostalgia's sake. Yeah. Sorry, audience, but uh <laughs> That's that's my okay. Hope. What about you, T Bone? What do you think? Um, I, I was leaning towards Inside Out. Yes, please. Um, <laughs> don't lose my numbers really good yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. But know. I'm leaning more towards Inside Out. What do you think, Gelman? You want to chime in? Gelman, <laughs> give it to me straight, Doctor. I can take it. Can you? Do that, you want to mean me? anything? That, <laughs> All right. <laughs> you think you're so funny. I think funny. two against one. We got to go with Inside Out on this.
Michelle, you've really outdone yourself. You know what? If this was really roulette, I'd be pretty happy right now. I'd be in a good place. I think I would have uh, made a little bit of money off that one. So I'm, I feel good about it. Yeah. Um, Speaking of good places to be, you're on 101.1 WVVX. <laughs> this is the Submodern Music Hour. Every Wednesday. From, from 9 to 10. Yes. On 101.1. WVVX. Providence <laughs> Community Radio. Okay. <laughs> yep, yep. The plug is finished. Let's do <laughs> So, okay. Round two or whatever. All right. Uh, yeah. Spin the ball. Uh, oh. It's one of the duds. Oh, man. Oh, what is bum, this? Bum, what are the chips for that? This is... What is this? I have no idea. It looks funny. Read yeah. it. What does uh, it say? The fabulous sounds of rock drumming. Oh. If you've heard of that. Um, that doesn't sound so bad. Music. <laughs> it says the title, I believe. Well, it's a method for the beginner. A complete audio soundbook v- devoted oh. to the new sounds in drumming. This <laughs> isn't even a real record. I, Learn the yeah. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Learn the basic beats accompanied. No, by no, no, an no, all-star but these rock aren't, band. These aren't songs, I know, though. but these are parts. Played are they radio and de- friendly? Well, they're parts played and demonstrated by by uh, Mike uh, Ricardella. <laughs> I shouldn't have tried to read somebody's name live. Uh, the phenomenal drummer. From what? Like, who uh, is he? Can I see that? From the uh, from the <laughs> illusion, which might be telling. Oh, the illusion. Of- oh, that '60s band that had like hardly any yeah. hits. That's interesting. <laughs> he does look like. <laughs> look at him. No, yeah, I mean, well. <laughs> no, I had the well. illusion record. It was pretty good. Oh, nice. um, was look at this guy, illusion? though. He looks like. I, I don't want to be mean. Maybe he's listening. This is not meant to be an insult, <laughs> but like Nigel name. from Spinal Tap a little bit. Um, <laughs> First, I butchered his name, and then you. <laughs> yeah, he was in Spinal but, Tap. You know, this is probably pretty good. Uh, what track? I mean, who, well, who the like, hell what, knows? What are they? Really? Mm. Do they have? Na- they're, they're, they're not. Songs. No, they're like, all numbers. You can't they're judge them. I know. They're songs. they're songs. Oh wait, wait, hold on. Are these? Is this the so- the track listing here? Yeah, yeah. Calvin. I want to hear. <laughs> okay, no, I want to hear. <laughs> oh god. The best, Jerry. I want to hear Latin American rhythms. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Down. That's you know what? We're all fine with that because that we, cool? we no. have no idea yeah. what this is. Did number you just, number yeah. four, I, I don't know. It's just called Latin American. All right. I don't know how it is. Well, I think this record that is in here might actually not. <laughs> Ooh, double. Oh, my uh, oh my goodness. Double roulette. This just in. Something. The record. Uh, Snake eyes. It's the wrong record. <laughs> Sometimes you get a wild yeah, card. This record is called okay. um, Fun with Drumsticks. Oh, it's another hey. drum record. Well, interesting. So you want to go track four? Sure. <sighs> Is that how God. to have the most fun? You know, with this would have been a lot funnier if it happened in like round five or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just as funny in any round. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right. <laughs> I've never met her, so I don't know. Just in the room. Yeah. Maybe we'll just, we'll just right. I can't. I, I mean, I, I know it's early in the game, but I think we should we should use our wild card and get out of here. Yeah. Right, let's, let's I kind of like it. Oh gosh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that, I mean, I'm not really sure what to say about that. I well, I kind of liked it. Landline and, and I agreed that we should use our wild card on that one and just. Uh, well, I mean, I, I thought the wild cards were at least going to be, so, you know, people. Yeah, I know. We're wasting songs, one. Songs, you know. It, well, no. I mean, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> All I know is I feel a little bit safer, you know, where we're at now without hearing the whole song. What do you guys think? Solid. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. You know. All right, moving on. Let's spin the wheel again. Big money, big money, big money, big money. Number three, number three, number three, number three. What? 
Ooh, oh, yeah. is that another dud or is that a purpose no. one? All right. Oh, good. That's, this is one of landlines. That's, that's one fine. of mine. Yeah. And it's it's great because it has the world's worst record cover in the world. <laughs> but it's, it's actually a really great record. Cool. Um, it's a it's a best of. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tammy Wynette and George Jones. Has, nice. We all know and love. Um, oh. And, I mean, there's a lot of great songs on this record, so... Do you guys, are either of you familiar with George Jones Not, and or Tammy Wynette? I mean, I know who they are, but you should definitely choose these tracks. Yeah, the names sound vaguely familiar, but I'm <laughs> well, not sure. Well, the, the most famous song to, like, the greater world is Stand By Your Man. Yeah, Stand like, By Your oh, Man. That's like yeah. a classic, yes. like, man, I stand by. Yep. Um, and George Jones had a hit or two. He had. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to start with that. Um, but, uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, uh, my favorite song on this record, I like really slow, sad songs. Mm. And I don't know if that... There's I, nothing wrong with it. No, that's good. But, uh, I mean, I feel like we're at the beginning of the evening and maybe... I don't know, I'm just looking at the track listings here, though, and it's kind of a pretty generally slow... Like, you think of Stand By Your Man, and yeah, that, that's yeah. kind of the general yeah. tempo of all these songs. So, my favorite song on this record is Song 2 on Side 2. It's called Those Broken Down Apartment rooms, paper plates, and plastic spoons, honey, those were the good times. $20 wedding band, cotton dress, and dishpan hands, honey. On what we made And we made love Every day And honey Those were the good times Now this house Is an empty place Satin sheets and lots of lace But honey, gone are the good times Big parties, imported booze Tailored clothes, Italian shoes But honey, No, no, no. I, n- I know, me too. It's I, it's just allergies. It's allergies. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's, it's just allergies. T-Bone has something to say. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, 
You know, uh, well, what I wanted to just, you know, a little quick note on that on that track. You know, songs songs of that genre in many ways, I mean... Tear at the heartstrings? They really do. And... I want it, Scott! You know, and another thing... That's, that's what I'm talking about. And the, uh, another thing is, like, <laughs> you know, they can, sometimes they can only be judged by the quality of their slide guitar. I mean, mm -hmm. singularly. Yeah. So, yeah. Things in that genre, it's just like, when... They have slide guitar. It's such a staple of that t type of music, that genre of music, mm -hmm. that it's like when it's done the right way. Yeah. Just it's just it elevates things to the next level. I think whoever plays it on those records is, is so good, and and it's yeah. it's really awesome how incredibly loud it is. On yeah. The recording. It, but it's like, Mwah. it's yeah. so dynamic. Yeah. It like it gets super quiet in parts too, but then it like swells to like like you said like. Serious volume. It's pretty cool. Finish him. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, little that's little for another show. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> all right. Well, let's spin this wheel again and see where the night takes us. <laughs> Baby needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him, but my hands are oh, rubbing together. Oh, another one of mine. Okay. Hey. Hey. Um. All the right, wheel, well. The, the wheel is fair and unbiased. Probability, you know. This is a departure from the last thing that we just heard. But not really. I mean, this is also sad. This is a pretty sad record. It's called Songs from a Blue Guitar by the Red House Painters, one of my favorite bands. And, um, yeah, well, they're... Oh, sorry. Sorry, Gelman. Gelman. Uh, um, there's... A lot of good songs on here. There's a cover of Silly Love Songs, the Paul McCartney song. Oh, There's a cover cool. of Long Distance Runaround, but it's all very like 90s and sad um, and uh, pre like emo, um, but still like really like. Uh, all mixed up, all mixed up, all mixed up. That's another good one. Let's listen to that. Yeah, do, make, the one, do the one she said make first. Make like papers way too long. Mm -hmm. We can't play that on the radio. Do the short one. Do the short one. We're going to do all mixed up. That was the hit off of this one anyway that had a music video and everything. Well, it wasn't really a hit, but you Wait, know, I can't remember it what, had a music video. What, what band is this? This is the Red House Painters. Oh, right, right. You said mm -hmm. Yeah.
pictures She's always out making scenes She's always out the window When it comes to making dreams That was the Red House painters with All Mixed Up. This is the Submodern Coffee House, and uh, we're just all really glad you guys could join us tonight. Um, hope everybody's at home and cozy, with a nice sweater wrapped around their knees, sipping on a nice hot latte. Uh-huh. Looking at the J. Crew camera. Yeah, hey, what's the Wi Fi password? <laughs> <laughs> um. So that show doesn't exist, but the show that we're really doing is called uh, Record Roulette here on 101.1 WVVX on Providence Community Radio. The best, Jerry. The best. And uh, yeah, so our game tonight is, you know, like a roulette game. (laughs) We've got... (laughs) We have uh, some records here and we're spinning the wheel and we don't know what's in there. I mean, we all brought something. And there might be some duds, there might be some, some winners, um, but uh, yeah, let's go to the next round. What do you think? Come on, come on, I really need this. Let's play, on. One. Let's play one of T-Bone's records. Yeah, T-Bone's do. What do we got? Oh. Oh, that's mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in Through the Outdoor. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yes, it is. Yeah, that I'm excited That's okay. to see what hey, you pick off of T-Bone this. T-Bone enjoys listening to all, all right. types of music. <laughs> Sorry, T-Bone. Oh. It's just not your night tonight. <laughs> it's just, I guess not. You T-Bone. Know, you... Lady Luck was not in your corner. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's much better when she is, you know. <laughs> this record is is just, I really like it a lot. Yeah, me too. And uh, there's a lot of bangers on yeah, here. Yeah, there, there's a couple of bangers I'm thinking of. Anyway. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, um, I think it's kind of slept on. Isn't it was it released around, like, 1980 or something like that? It's, it's a really late Led Zeppelin record. It is. 79, 80, whatever, same difference. Oh, I know this record. I know what song I'd you know, like this to is, hear. This is the, like, all of my love, I'm going to crawl uh, in the evening. Does this have Fool in the Rain? I like the no, Fool in the Rain is no, on. Uh, oh, it does have Fool in the Rain. Oh, it does. Oh, it, oh, look at you. I like that song. I don't. I. <laughs> a lot of I people. I thought that was a on. A lot of um, people are 
No, it is on this. Yeah. I was going to say, a lot of people are, you know, on the fence about that song. I really like that song. It's got that classic stomp group. I mean, the you know, as all Led Zeppelin songs, there's a lot of great drumming, for sure. Um, Yeah. My my vote is not Fool in the Rain. (laughs) For for Fool in the Rain. What is Respectfully. That's okay. It's your Oh, I don't see. I don't remember all the tracks. It's not there. Um, Then you know it best. (laughs) I mean, I feel like the sleeper on there is uh, I'm Gonna Crawl. Yes. You know, in keeping one. with the, like, the, the slow jams. Um, yeah, let's do that. But All My Love also is such an awesome song. It is, but everybody's heard that one. I know, I know, but it's like, you know. Okay, yeah, sure. That's, that, I've said I, my thing. I said my thing. That's no. My thing.
And we're back. That was, yeah. First time I ever heard that. It's crazy. We just heard, what did we hear, Landline? I'm going to crawl. By which bit? Who, 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 oh, oh, what we hear? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. This is Led Zeppelin. No, the song was all, I'm going to crawl off Led Zeppelin's Into the Outdoor. We were just talking right. about this album cover and how cool it is. And also of other Led Zeppelin album covers and how cool they are. It's a lost art, you know? Art? Yeah, you know, people used to, this is why we like records, you know? Like, yeah. part of the reason why I like them is for the album art. When it was pretty uh, big, you know, and then once they, you know, downsized to ta- tapes and CDs, you lost a little. A lot of bands didn't care yeah. anymore. It yeah. it was going to be small. Nobody was going to see it. So maybe the name. just a cave, man. Maybe the name of the band got really big, and maybe uh, the art got small. The art got, got small. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. I like how the landline said, "Art." <laughs> like with that question, "Art," you say. No, yeah, the uh, art. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! But I know <laughs> I couldn't. But uh, the, uh, but no, I just I uh, yeah, I guess they just compressed the album art right out of stuff. You know, I don't know. Not to sound like too much of a uh, you know vinyl hipster snob, but you know, I think uh, I think they did kind of like compressed a lot of the art right out of music. It's a shame. Anyway, we should roll the wheel again. I'm getting depressing. <laughs> Count your money yet. Oh. Ooh, that's mine. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Weren't we just talking about this last week, this album? In Rainbows? Or maybe it was... Yeah. Maybe, maybe you weren't here, Tom. Week. But oh, we yeah. were. Yeah. Yes. We were talking about it. I was probably... Ta- I can guarantee that I've brought it up at some point. Radiohead, uh, the album is called In, In Rainbows. Perhaps you've heard of it. <laughs> I weirdly haven't. Mm-hmm. You haven't? What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Spit out your water. Um, yeah. Uh, um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Um, yeah. yeah, no, this is this is a really, really good Radiohead album. Not that they all aren't, but uh, yeah. It's one of the, it's one of the best actually, and it's and it's and it's pretty far into their career mm-hmm. overall. It must so be because I've never heard of it. Pretty impressive, you know, for the fact that, yeah, you yeah, know. That was after their heyday of OK Computer. Yeah. yeah. That's where I checked out. And way after oh. Creep, you posers. Um, <laughs> so let's uh, let's see here. What is it? It's, it's T-Bone. Um, <laughs> so uh, we have a few different tracks. My, f- mm, this is a tough one. I like, just off the top of my head, because I like every single track on this album, I like... Jigsaw falling into place uh, But Like I said I like every track on this album So if you guys would like can to look at it one? Yes you can absolutely And and uh, I could look at it yeah. but, it, but it, would, it wouldn't mean Anything at all to me And, and yeah. so I'm going to defer to my yeah. Co-hosts Yes okay. Whose yeah. judgment those, bo- those are both I always trust good. Pick one of way. those I don't care which one all right, yeah. <laughs> Jigsaw falling into place, it is. I love this song.
We're back on Providence Community Radio, 101.1 WVVX. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. Ow! That was Jigsaw Falling Into Place by Radiohead off of In Rainbows. Uh, it's a personal favorite of mine. Yeah. T-Bone brought that track. Uh, we are playing Record Roulette, where we just all... Um, brought some records and spinning the wheel and we're just going to pick at random our record and a track and uh talking about that we while we were talking through that um playing we were uh i was mentioning um how i've heard a lot of vocalists from the 90s you know say like Maybe not a lot, but, you know, like Michael Stipe and Tom York say, like, they were, like, more, more uncomfortable with their voice, with their vocals, like, back in the early albums, and you can tell that because they, like, bury their vocals in a, a lot of, or, like, in effects, or maybe it's lower in the mix, and then later on, you know, they just learn to accept that they have a good voice and like it, and maybe make it sound a little more real, like you're really there in the room and how their voice really sounds without so much effect on it. They owned it. But then Mm -hmm. (laughs) that can turn bad, you know, like like Metallica, for example, like (laughs) uh, if you listen to their early stuff, you know, James Hatfield sounds great, like screaming it out and uh, you know, and, and then later you know, when he starts taking vocal lessons, if you've ever seen the movie. <laughs> um, some <laughs> yeah, kind I've of seen, mon- monster. I've and seen that, yeah, yeah, Me, yeah. me, 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 in the elevator, and then you're like, why are you doing this? It just doesn't feel right. Yeah. That doesn't feel like something a monster would do. I don't know. I just said something about it. Well, he... He got too comfortable with his voice, I think. And uh, uh, all of the later Metallica albums, like his... Vo- vocals are so crisp and clean, kind of like how that one, that one wow. Radiohead song was recorded, but it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Like it. No. It's James, James, <laughs> what were you thinking, James? <laughs> oh man. Anyway, my, moving on. My James? <laughs> my? No, never, never. You can have him. Oh. Okay, let's let's spin the ball here. Let's spin the ball. Come All right, let's, let's go. go. Come on. 
Cheese. Come on. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's one of my. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I got excited. Okay, so the the next record that popped up. Oh uh, man. All right. Well, yeah, I know yeah. what track. Uh, uh, what, what, no, what is the record? Is that this is this is the uh, audience is dying to know. The arrows yeah. featuring Davy Allen, psychedelic sounds. Hand it's the a, disc over. Okay. Okay. Well. <laughs> Gelman is livid. Champing at the bit. Um. Yeah. So this. Uh, is like a surf rock, like garage rocky uh, band that is everybody. Everybody's gonna know know this when they hear it. Well, it's your record, and and yeah. forgive me, T Bone, but uh, I feel like you know what's the sleeper awesome hit on that record. You're forgiven. Thank you. Because yes, that's probably true. <laughs> All right, so I you agree. guys want me to choose the track? The, that's how I feel, but oh. but. Oh, oh, do you want to look at it? As I said, t around. I could look at it. If, yeah, and I... You know, it doesn't really matter. Everything... I like everything on there, but uh, there's a... The, I like the... a couple of standouts. I mean, just from wow. looking at it, I don't know about the tracks, but I like the double neck guitar where one neck is a 12 string and one is a 6 yeah, string. Yeah, isn't that cool? That's pretty sick. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, but, you know, as far as picking a track, I got nothing for you. Yeah, so, some of these songs are kind of long, I think. So uh, let's. Um, All right, which I, one's looking good to you? I, let's do the Born Losers theme. I have never heard that before. This is Ron de la Chiesa playing music, not noise, on www.vvx.com on uh, Providence Public Radio. That was Witchcraft by You Know Who. Yes, Frank Sinatra. T Bone. Wow, that was an awesome little track we just heard. I thought so. I like the horns. That was pretty cool. The way they just kind of kicked in and just kept it, kept the, kept I like the, the momentum. Hooks. Like, but I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. Hey, hey, now. <laughs> uh, so, I guess it's time to roll the dice, or like, the, or the, uh, the, uh, I don't even know. What the you wheel, call it. as it were. Listen to that wheel roll. Oh, baby, that record's already. <laughs> Just jump it out of the sleeve. Here we go. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> Through the airwaves, direct to your ears. All right, so this album, the other one, album, the albums I brought, this is actually, you know, I've been trying to play this album. Well, what is it, first of all? Oh, well, it's, uh, it's Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker? Jawbreaker. Yes. And it's called... 24-hour revenge therapy. That's the name of the album. That's what the album 
is called. So, okay. Uh, yeah, it's got a few tracks on it. Um, this is the actual 20th anniversary edition of it. Well, uh, you know, Court me, of, yeah. Jay Party, I think, and myself are unfamiliar with this record, and, and yeah. Is that Jay Party in the back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, it, I think it is. We're talking about the right. Re- yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about my record. We're on the air, baby. No, we're talking about my record. I was there. just about to speak for you and say that oh, you we were agreed with me that, that you didn't know this record and and that we were going to defer to T Bone's judgment on oh. what. Definitely. Song oh, okay. Would be the most appropriate to play next. I can't right. talk about my '60s biker rock record that I, I yeah, but it, I think I think uh, yeah. you should though. No, it's fine. Let's let's move on. Because I didn't have anything uh, like that. I know yeah. it's weird, right? Poignant to say. <laughs> All right, so I am going to play. <laughs> let's see here. There's a lot of classics on this one. Um, probably. I'm just going to do track one. It's called The Boat Dreams from the Hill. It's kind of cool. It's one of those tracks. Just like, you know, sort of reads like a poem, even if you don't have the music. And, uh, yeah, I just appreciate that stuff. So, let's do this. I mean, pretty much it's just a great track. I don't have a ton of things to say about it, you know? It speaks for itself. You know? Well, I think so. Do you, Sorry. What, what do we know about the band? Where are they from? What, what are they like? Uh, I've never met them. I assume they're great guys, but they're from California. Southern California? Uh, <laughs> East Bay. Oh. Rock, rock scene. Um... It's a time period. Yeah, on it's this. a time period. Well, I mean, this is the this is the twentieth anniversary okay, 20th edition of this century. album. Okay. Twentieth okay. anniversary. Twentieth, you know, twenty years since this album came out. So you know. So they've been around for a little bit. They've been around for a little bit, and uh, yeah, they pioneered a lot of things in terms of uh, 
specifically in the punk rock scene in terms of sort of transitioning from just being angry and yelling about stuff to like kind of writing like real writing about like things that you're feeling which was a novel concept at the time in the scene and it's like feelings the hell are those lame yeah <laughs> feelings yeah no but it's like it good got, band jawbreaker they are really good i think it kind of got yeah i mean they started it and then it kind of got carried might have gotten carried a little too far people might have gotten a little melodramatic with it but that's just my opinion <laughs> yeah <laughs> i will <laughs> every time <laughs> Just how Team Wolf <laughs> does things. And that was going. Yeah. So, are they rolling us out of this casino? I want yeah. to yeah. Throwing us in the street. Yeah, I yeah. yeah. Like it's Abused and battered. No wedding rings on our fingers. <laughs> Car, well, the house, everything. Empty <laughs> wallets. Yeah. Which we'll try again we'll tomorrow. Reeking uh, of yeah. booze. <laughs> oh. Grab everything from the buffet and put it in your pockets as quickly as possible. Hey, you pay for that, okay? That's free. You take that. That's what you pay for. Yep. All that's right. Exactly. That's what my grandmother used to say. That's what T-Bone says. No, no, no. Your grandmother sounds like a great lady. Good. Good night, everyone. <laughs>